In this video, I'm going to be surviving on this raft right here with nothing but a couple crates and building it up into what you see here, along with my best friend Ducky here. Anyways, yeah, this is Seopolis 2. Don't forget to like and subscribe and enjoy the video. All right, hello and welcome to Seopolis 2, a mod pack where we are in the water. This is a questing based mod pack made by the mod pack creator, um, Ben Ben Law, who is a really good mod pack developer, and I'm excited to hop into this. So we're going to start off by doing all of these introduction quests and just doing them for the B-Bucks. I got Ben Boozled, I guess. Okay, anyways, let's start into the actual game. So first things first, we need to break these driftwood crates here, and you can tell I've been prepping a lot because it's becoming nighttime. So let's just quickly... um. Yeah, let's just quickly do that. Okay, so we do have Vein Miner in here, so we get a lot of goodies. The things that I'm wanting out of this is the oak sapling in the mud. So we get a bunch of quests done by that, actually. And these I'll give it, so... I was looking... Oh! I love that sound, it's so satisfying. Don't be alone. We even get a friend. Look. Duck. <laughs> we have a duck. Uh, I'm going to keep my duck sack on him because I actually, like, really don't want to lose him. He's so adorable. Okay, so first things first, this is going to start out, like, pretty much every mod pack or, like, really just any, t any time, like, Minecraft has literally ever been played by breaking, uh, growing a tree and breaking it. All right. So now we have some good old logs, which is cool. All right, so I'm immediate, immediately noticing a boat over here, which looks kind of cool. I wonder if I should go loot it. I've been also just taking a look around. There's a couple more ducks. They're not as cool as my duck. Um, actually, what are these things? Oh, shit. <laughs> that motherfucker dip. He's gone. I don't know. What else? Is that the, is that the, like... Um, ball of s whatever the starting place in Seopolis 1. That's kind of cool. And then we have some driftwood crates over there. I wonder if I should go get that. Because I kind of low-key need more for this quest. Uh, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, we made it. And hey, hey buddy. Can I pick you up with the duck sack? No, I can't. Okay, so we got more here. Let's pray for a driftwood log, please. 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 Uh, didn't get a single one. Well, that's unfortunate because now I have to swim all the way back there. All right, so we are back and oh my God. Okay, so we didn't get this. Um, also lots of boats are made of driftwood in the world has a chance to drop. Well, that's kind of unfortunate. It says maybe if I throw this in. No, please come back. Please come back. Oh my god, okay, okay, okay. You know what, we're gonna forget about that for now. So, we got some logs. We're gonna get some planks. Start out pretty much like you do in Minecraft. Getting ourselves a crafting table. So, first things first, I think we want to immediately go for a crook here. Which, if you don't know, crooks basically... I'm gonna try and commentate this as if you're someone who hasn't played, like, a Minecraft mod pack or even really seen anything about one before. So, if you don't know what a crook is, they're essential to most Minecraft mod packs, but pretty much they just increase the drop rate of saplings when you break leaves with them, but they also drop more apples, and they drop these things called silkworms, which are, they'll be coming in handy later, let's just say that. Actually, like, very, very, very close. So, next thing we're gonna do is make some wooden shears, which is also something that you use for the leaves to actually collect the leaves. Basically just does what shears do, but with way less durability but we're gonna do that because leaves are gonna be very important and other than that we're just gonna sit here and play tree chopping simulator for a little bit by the way leave it in the comments below what you think our our, our little duck friend should be called what what do you guys think little bro should be named leave it in the comments below but you best believe if, if he dies the series dies if he dies me and you the viewer we all die so i i have to protect him with my life okay it's high stakes here i i i wasn't lying by the way the series will be over 
if, if if he dies. Anyways, let's get let's go back to tree chopping simulator. All right, so sun is going down. Uh, I, I've been at the tree chopping for a little bit, of course. We have a lot of leaves, a lot of saplings, a lot of logs. So we are good to start moving on here. Oh, they gave me another shears. So who would I be to not use these wooden shears? I mean, okay. See, this is where the duck sack's gonna come in handy, my boy. You are too close to that. He could easily get stuck in the in the tree when it grows up and just suffocate to death. And I absolutely do not want that to happen. So he's gonna stay in the duck sack for a little bit until maybe until we get more room. He's just gonna matter of fact, I'm just gonna leave him in my right hand. He's he's just gonna he's 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 safe in the he's safe in the sack, guys. He's he's safe. Don't worry. Um, okay, so now let's make leafy stew, I guess, for the quest. So actually better than apples. This is actually good because I can save apples, but better than apples, you can make a bowl and then do this with some leaves and make some leafy stew. Uh, I, I, I don't know if leafy stew is actually like if that's actually possible in real life I would imagine actually. Yeah, I guess it is kind of no, 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 it's not <laughs> It might be somewhere. It might be somewhere Um, If you're a fan of taking leaves off of the trees and making them into some stew. Uh, yeah, there you go leafy stew minecraft added your representation anyways, let's just shut up about that and and, and keep progressing with the pack. So here we go. Barrels. Oh boy, we got, we got barrels. Wow, not much to say. They're just barrels. Uh, you just make them very easily with some slabs and some planks like this. And we're actually going to want a couple of them. And one thing I'm noticing is that this little platform that we have is going to get cramped very quickly. But barrels pretty much do what they do what you think they do. Throw some leaves in here actually they don't work the way you would think they do because they don't what what do vanilla composters even compost i actually don't know is it dirt i don't play enough vanilla minecraft i, I actually have no clue what vanilla composters even do but in this pack using saplings and leaves and stuff it gets you dirt since obviously we we don't we don't have dirt we have mud which if you think we're gonna use the dirt instead of the mud you'd be wrong because we need we need the dirt for something else that's coming up very soon and anyways now let's get i guess let's get a chest going here but first it's time for another time super cool time lapse of me creating dirt let's go God, that's a lot of zombies. Okay, so I I stopped. I think this should be good. I got a ton of dirt um through through barrels, through uh doing the barrels. And that should be good for a while. So now we can get back to more vanilla stuff, which is just like making a chest, you know. But then we get into something that's not vanilla, but actually I do want a chest real quick to just dump everything. Not ducky though. Um and what else we want our all of this probably we want our leaves too we want our dirt our sticks are still silkworms okay the, all of that we don't need though okay so uh the ship over there it, it's becoming a little crowded the zombies are is that a creeper okay yeah we're not going over there yeah let's just mind our business over here we're just gonna do our thing over here so then you actually get we actually get given four chests from that jesus okay that's actually really helpful though but then we get to a non-vanilla thing which is that in this pack you can make wooden hoppers which do what a hopper do but without the iron but they're also slower since they're not made out of iron and i, I also noticed this crafting automat I i've never used this in my life an automatic crafting table requires a redstone pulse to craft i don't know i guess maybe in the future we will see what that's all about it could be really helpful but i have seen the recipe already and it's five crafting tables like this and then 
by completing this quest you get another one and then to make the structured crafter you just craft that and they're just interchangeable but i guess we'll keep one of both i uh, i really don't know i mean this shows you how to do this in world auto crafting you can use blocks to example above shows the logs being made into planks and put inside i don't care maybe maybe we'll find some use for this in the future but for right now i really don't care I am so sorry. I thought that would hatch another egg. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> no! I killed this potential baby. No, I thought it would be another duck. Okay, let's go back to... Okay, so I actually need to grow one more tree. Let's show you what these silkworms do. So, we're gonna grow up another tree, just like so. Wow, that's actually a big one. And basically, you're gonna throw your worms in the tree. Throw your worms all up in the leaves. And eventually, they will infest. So, now we just have to wait. So, I, I guess I'll see you guys in a little bit. Make sure you got your crook handy, though. That's for sure. Infested leaf? What? Oh, you just have to observe it. <laughs> Okay, I was about to say, I was like, what? Okay, so yeah, you can do it with leaves or I believe, no, shears would probably just give you the actual infested leaves, so you probably need to do it with a crook. But once your tree has become an old man, which I can't really see the top, but it looks good. String! Yes, that's right. <laughs> Lots of string. That's how we get string in this pack. Oh, and way more silkworms too. What do you use string for, you might ask? Well, this is something completely new to Minecraft, okay? You can use string to make wool. I know, it's revolutionary. And you can use that wool to go to sleep. But unfortunately, we don't get the satisfying uh, sound because I st still don't have this damn driftwood, which means we might have to go out on another quest. Uh, me and Ducky. We're gonna we're gonna go on a quest. I'm gonna call him Ducky for. Ah, uh, I don't know if we want to go on that ship. Um, I I don't know why. It's just a a gut feeling is telling me maybe we shouldn't go on here. But there might be some goodies. There's some penguins. Cause like literally. How can we? You know what? let's go let's go uh try and, and and get this ship just for safekeeping though i i believe you can still make vanilla tools so i guess just for safekeeping we're gonna bring an axe with maybe i can bait him off the ship i actually don't want ducky in case i accidentally right click him and then he gets blown up by the creeper um where did he go I is that another one? Oh, got some mob a xylophone oh happy happy okay enough of that though um i i i, I want to see barrel they have a jukebox wait the creeper is closed in the door wait where's the other one? Oh god i really don't want to blow up this ship here we go boys yes okay we got to get this one too oh loot chest come on Come on, creeper. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, don't blow up the penguin. Don't frame drop. Yes. You're safe. You're welcome. I protected this ship. Now what's in here? Oh my god. Actually, a lot of this stuff is cheating. I might just, um, I want the food. I'll take the sticks. Uh, we'll leave the rest of this. We'll, we'll leave the rest of this for later. How about that? Um, I was kind of hoping there'd be driftwood or something though because now i'm like actually very disappointed i i don't know how to get the driftwood now there's no there's not any more crates can you make the crates you know what? let's go check that out let's go check that out can you make dri drift wood fluid item transformation it says you can put water in a barrel but i can't make a barrel what about a crucible oh we can make a crucible okay we're gonna go off the quest line a little bit here, but I I'm seriously gonna be like, I can't handle not having these quests be done. Uh, a, a cruci crucible. Ah, it was that, but with logs instead, I see. Okay, wait, am I stupid? Yes, I am. Okay, there we go. We get an oak crucible. Now with these, you do this, but I don't have a bucket. Maybe I can just put the log inside of the water. Oh my god. Look at this real quick now that you guys can see my cursor this 
Well, oh my god, there's another ship out in the distance. What? There's a crate. One singular crate. Um, what's over there? More crates? Alright, we're gone. We're gone. I'm sorry, guys. This will literally drive me insane. I have, I have to get this quest done. I don't know why you can't just throw the logs down into the water that is like literally surrounded everywhere but this will probably still be faster than waiting for holy frame drops i'm sorry i think it's because when i go into unrendered territory because it's rendering literally all of this water i think that's why it has so many frame drops it's because it's rendering like everything down there as well as all the oh all right come on just give me the driftwood. Make me happy. Wait. There's literally driftwood all over the platform. Well, we're already here, so... And it, it, it didn't even drop any. Okay, well... Uh, that was just me being a complete idiot and completely forgetting that our platform is quite literally made out of driftwood. So all I have to do is break one of the logs, craft it into planks, and then, yeah, <laughs> those quests are done. Oh my god. I'm actually kind of, I'm actually kind of annoyed at myself for that because I wasted so much time. Like, whatever. We're just gonna do this. We get the driftwood log, craft this into planks, and there it is. Oh, and they give us eight driftwood logs so I can just replace it. There we go. Wow. I could have done that a long time ago and we would have been done, but oh well. You live and you you live and you learn, I guess. Okay, basic materials done. Now it's time to get into the stone age, boys. Okay, oh, you thought the string was just for a bed? No, my friend. No. Wait. Game rule game rule do trader spawning is now set to false. I guess they don't want you getting access to a wandering trader. All right, so now we have to make these string meshes, just like so. And I think, yeah, they actually give you another one. Drying table. So drying table is like this in this pack and throw that down there. But now we're going to make something that I know for a fact you guys have not seen before, okay? So prepare to get your mind blown. Ready? Ready? Here's something you guys weren't expecting. Drum roll, please! It's time for the sieve, baby. I know you guys haven't seen that before. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you don't know what a sieve does, oh, you're in for a treat. Place these babies down. You take your string meshes, put the meshes in there. And remember all of that dirt that I was making? This 37 dirt? And you were like, what? why the hell did you get that much dirt? This is why. You get pebbles. What can you do with those pebbles? Gobblestone, baby! Gobblestone! Oh, no, 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 no! Don't actually lose those, please. Oh my god, I'm, I'm stupid. <laughs> no, no! Wait. Okay, there's the other piece. Oh my god. Okay, I need to remember to turn my render distance back down so that we stop getting these absolute crazy frame drops. Okay, there we go. Yeah, because that's much smoother. Okay, so yeah, basically we just jumped a ton of quests because I already know how these work. But yeah, cobblestone. Uh, that's literally the only one we can make into blocks. But now we have cobblestone. So yeah, that's why I made so much dirt. Um, Now in this pack, they actually give you a very easy way to automate the sieving right off the bat which is with a click machine and an item collector so let's quickly uh make these real quick because they're very helpful um okay so grab all of that so first thing we need to make is a click machine which in this pack it doesn't need power which is very nice because obviously we do not have access to power and do i have a chest i do we do not have we won't have power for a long time and we definitely don't have it now so click machine basically we're gonna want to have it clicking at there we go okay so you're gonna want to have the click machine facing the sieve make sure right clicking is on one click a second is all it can do without any power see it's powered by rainbow magic um and basically all you got to do is throw the dirt in here and it will automatically place the dirt down and sieve it, it is at a very slow rate but it's fine however you'll notice let me show you this quickly when the dirt gets finished sieving well it it, I automatically picked them up because I was there, but 
let me just show you if i go like over here once it's done sieving the pebbles just go everywhere how do we fix that problem you might ask well it's with this you grab a basic item collector uh which we need a ton of wooden hoppers for actually i do not even have enough chests for this let me quickly just do this do they have this quality of life mod they do okay basically it's just a little quality of life mod that allows you to craft items straight off of like craft sticks and chests by just using the logs instead of having to craft them into planks and then into them which it, it's just a short little time saver it's not a big deal um okay so now we have the wooden hoppers which i actually made way too much i completely didn't realize uh okay let's just use this thank you okay and we get our basic item collector which jesus christ this is exactly why we need this now we're just gonna place um oh shoot i need a chest though oh i do have a chest okay so then basically all we're gonna do is place a chest place the basic item collector on it and wait why why that range why why this range what are you doing never mind i guess we have to replace this what are you doing okay well we'll put the chest here then is that rain shown are you kidding me what is this bullshit <laughs> wait i'm actually so confused okay so what do we place it like well it did its job on the one does it get them all oh my god dude <laughs> okay so yeah it already fired through literally all of, all of the uh dirt that i had used but now we have a ton more blocks and i, I might as well just go ahead and throw the pebbles in here because i'll use them eventually so now we just have a bunch of the stone blocks but obviously the only one that we really care about for right now you can see you get all the other stone blocks but the only one that we really care about is all of this sweet cobblestone which we now have literally half a stack of but that was all that was i don't i i think yeah now 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 both of the sieves are in um the range of this since it's just a very basic one that's extremely cheap to make you only get a three by three so yeah this was the only way i could get it to work i guess but anyways let, let's let's continue on so now we get to make good old uh old-fashioned furnace well actually not old-fashioned it's just a furnace and i do want to quickly upgrade to a stone axe as well and what i'm gonna do real quick is do the smallest bit of organizing by throwing all of this stone into this chest maybe even nah that's that's it everything else can go in this chest uh i want to keep my food on me though okay so now that we have a furnace obviously now it's just time for some basic furnace stuff like making charcoal and stuff like that yeah charcoal um cooked apple which is just cooking an apple in the furnace not anything revolutionary but we're already just about done with this quest line here and i think once we get through the stone age i think i'll call that a video all right so uh we'll, we'll grab a little bit more charcoal i guess just for that um but we do want to take at least one piece of cobblestone and put it in there for that so we just get charcoal and then obviously this quest line is just make a torch which is the recipe is not changed at all just regular vanilla torches and then now is when they want you to make the crucible which i already have but i'm gonna have to waste that well i guess i didn't really have to but um if you don't know how these crucibles work they get sped up by having a heat source underneath them so having a torch underneath it actually makes it slightly faster but obviously a torch is not anywhere close to the best heating source but obviously we don't have access to lava or anything like that so we'll grab a stone and we'll also grab apples because cooked apples is going to be our best food source for right now but it wanted us to make stone and then here we go the final recipe for today's video is just a redstone clock just made like that let's hear it let's hear it let's hear it come on baby uh what are you oh waiting for the cooked apple okay boom boom stone age let's go boys and of course to uh commemorate 
the ending of our first video which as you can see we actually got quite a bit done here ducky is coming back out baby don't forget write in the comments below what ducky's name should be uh whoever get whichever comment gets the most likes will be the name that ducky gets because for right now i'm just calling him ducky but he obviously deserves he deserves a better name than ducky or she i actually don't know this might be a female I don't know. He or she, our little ducky, has survived the first episode, which means part two will be coming soon. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.